all right in this video i'm going to show you a particular facility which is available inside emacs which is called deft deft it's a kind of facility if you it will allow you to take quick notes and doing editing and all this stuff in a very efficient and extremely easy manner it is a very popular package and most of the people who are using emacs they generally use it for note taking and doing stuff related to that right so without further ado let me get into my emacs and i have a keybind to call up my notes file where i uh, keep my uh, notes which are when you first initialize when you install it is available for melpa so you can easily download it okay so you need to set the directory where your notes file will going to be resides so deft will track that okay so i have a key bind like everyone else to call up deft to show the note file whatever i have okay so that is control c and d see this is how it it kind of looks ugly because of my fault because i haven't arranged it but in a rawest form this is how deft look okay and it basically uh, I basically show you all the notes file I have in a specific directory which is designated to deft right it's a simple mechanism okay so to create a file to create a file the key code are preceded with control C if I do control C and control N sorry Control C, Control N. So this is create a new file. Okay, if I if I save it, and if I go to the, see, it just saved the file. You can see it. It saved the file with a with a letter I just pressed mistakenly in that file. Okay, you can rename this file by just pressing Control C. Control R. Look at the bottom of the screen. It is saying rename this file without extension. If I move the cursor and if I write testing demo dot because by default I mention it is a it it in a org file. I'll show you the code which will enhance these things okay while while using this okay so if i do testing demo.org now it is saved in a org mode file okay so to delete this particular file all you have to do control c control d look at the bottom of the screen it is saying delete this file if i say yes it will simply go ahead and delete the file to refresh this particular display control C control G it will refresh the display if you say why the re refresh is required say you have you probably added or deleted so many file to get the proper visual or understanding or the enlisting you need to refresh the this space so that's why you need to do control c control g to refresh this particular section okay it is extremely easy as i shown to you it's very easy to create a file control c control n it will it will i'm doing it again for you okay so this is the second thing i'm doing again control sorry i made a why am the key chords I missed it okay control C control N see this is a new file okay and if I save it so it saved the file right if I go to the see this this save with the name 
okay so if i want to rename the file my cursor is on the newly created file right if you didn't give a name while saving it is very easy like normal file saving right control c control r look at the bottom of the screen it is prompting for the renaming so if i give yet another demo dot org because mostly this file my notes files are in org mode right org file so that is why i'm giving you could give it other extension also it doesn't matter it can take a other text markdown whatever the extension you like to give you can give okay so if i do now the file name change with the org org uh, extension okay if i want to delete this file all i have to do control c control d see look at the bottom of the screen it is prompting me whether i want to delete it or not if i press y that file get deleted okay so you need to refresh this page be if you delete too many files and you need to get the real time stuff okay so this is how basically on the right hand column it shows you the date when the files are created okay so the dev to work for you first of all you need to install the package from melpa and then you should and must have a some entry in your dot emax or any dot yell initialization file right so let me show show you what i have in my initialization file control xp um, see this is the stanza i have in my dot emax file if you go to github and check out my dot file repo you'll find my dot emax file there it should be there okay so this is the stanza you have look i i invoke the deft base by control c and d right by call the deft binary so likewise you have to have this transa then there is a custom section which here is my note file resides in the org files directory under under emacs.d file right it could be different to you okay so this is the place where i keep my note file okay so now it says recursive way if it has got a directory underneath file it will also show you that so it will be use the file name okay as you saw it and you can and it can filter it with the file name that's why the flag is true there are some naming rules which says no slash no space and it should be all down case that means it should be all in lower case okay this these things you might cross check you might change it okay so and this these are the extension as you can see i have this extension org txt text md markdown and org gpg when i encrypt my file with the gpg key so that also be residing here or or will be enlisting here the default extension is org okay so as i said i keep my notes all in org so that's why this it could be different to your place. but this transa should be there in your dot emacs or initialization file to dev to work especially de when dev to start it will look for a place and it will create a uh, folder called dot dev okay which 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 resides under this file this folder so dev will find out that and do accordingly okay so this transa you can find this transa in my dot emacs file in github if i just extract it out for your reference okay so as you can see it's very simple very easy to and it is very it's a very popular every almost everyone using it it's 
very very easy and very convenient too so uh, you can beautify the stuff I haven't bothered to do so so uh, the, the the content of the file will be sh can be muted off uh, which I haven't bothered to do so you can do so if you if you invest some time uh, on it so it's a nice utility okay so if you do control X meta X and then deft and see there are options you can filter it out with the say for instance it reminds me control C control L look at the bottom of the screen it says filter if I write Linux okay and press enter see this many file which have a which has a Linux word explicit it will show here okay so it has got a nice filtering mechanism too so again uh, meta x deft now you can see there are other option uh, as I said you need to refresh it control C control G uh, you need to complete by hitting the return new file as I shown to you control C control N find file control C control F control C is the prefix key card and the other key card is there to delete a file control C control D uh, to young control Y to rename control C control R you can archive like the or normal org file we we archive the org section in a in a in a org file with the with with the same thing right here is also control C control A to archive the file okay so to clear the filter you need to do controls like I am in a I'm in filtered mode that right I have created a filtered mode in draft right so if I if I just press control C control C the filter will go away and it will enlist everything else okay so you can create a new new file with the control C and return key, the same as um, there are 22 option and it is very what I say I'm, I'm tracing again and again that it is very simple and very limited functionality it has got but it is good enough to help you to take down quick note and do all this rudimentary stuff related to file so it will be good good tool to un to have okay so give it a shot if you haven't done so that's why I'm making this video just to make you aware it's a very popular popular thing in for the Emacs user it's nothing new nothing nothing special or something like that it's a it's a known package and almost everyone use it right I'm just reiterating the stuff whatever I might have done by some other people also in the past okay so deft is the package name and it is basically for quickly creating file deleting file editing file arranging file filtering file it's a very simple way to enlist the file enlist your notes file creating editing right renaming so go ahead and give it a shot I hope this will be a, oh one more thing before I let you go I found out something there is no dot of uh, what I say learning never stop so uh, here is a here is a uh, here is a uh, page web page uh, Jason Blevins okay so it's a very wonderfully detailed way written stuff if you wanted to know more about it or if you are curious enough to know more about it you can go through this this page all I can do I can give you a link of this particular page in the description section below 
so you can go through go through this page at your leisure okay it's a wonderfully written web web page so if you spend some time you will come to know a lot of stuff about it okay whatever i said plus a lot of other stuff which i haven't covered in a short time okay i hope this will be useful to some people thanks